All right, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial. And on this one, we need to talk about the Note Transpose. It's a very simple, very simple device, but you know, it can be used on, um, on a, an actually more creative way. And actually, it could be really, really useful. Now, what this does is very dumb. So I'm gonna uh, first, I'm gonna go and show you the main example, the first example, and then we're just gonna go and I can just show you different examples. So first one, I'm gonna turn this off. You know, first I'm gonna turn this off and this is the sound we get. It's just some, just some chords. Nothing super special, some, some chords. It's a nice sound, you know, nothing weird. So of course, maybe I want to just check how this sounds on a different, uh, on octave higher, for example, or, you know, on a semitone up. So this is what the note transpose, transpose is gonna do. Whenever you're at zero, it means that you're not doing anything. But if I move up, it's gonna move up everything for, you know, by one semitone, I'm um, sorry, one octave. Do two octaves, three octaves, it's too high. Or maybe you go low. And you go low. So this is the main purpose of this note, trans note transpose. So you can transpose, transpose whatever MIDI that you get by an octave, but you can also do by semitones. And of course, it's gonna move everything, not just one, one note, it's gonna move everything by three or by four or by, you know, whatever. So you get the fine tuning, pretty much, uh, pretty simple. The, on this one, you can go one semitone up. So I'm gonna play it, and if I go up, it's gonna be one, oh, Sorry for that. It's gonna be one semitone up. And you can go, of course, and go through all the in-betweens of one semitone and, you know, zero. Go down or up. It's just a fine tuning, very simple. So I'm doing one, for example, if I do zero, that's the chord. If I do one, that's the chord. Now, if I go back to zero and go all the way to one, it's the same as one. So you're just going by one semitone, cool? This is what it can do. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, let me just show you a different example because this could get, you know, really creative. And for now, I'm just gonna toggle this one active. I'm gonna turn this off and we get, oh, now that one. We just get kind of a, right here, we get kind of a lead, a lead sound, All right? So I just want to do a little bit of experimentation so nothing you know, kind of stops you from first, checking how this would sound up or down and you can even bring for example modulators so you can bring the step that maybe the first part the first 16 is gonna sound on zero semitones you know just on the original pitch and then you just go up at one point you know you can do that you can even use this or automate this control to go up by uh, an octave or go down with automation. So right now this is the zero point, but maybe right here I want to go to up. Actually it's to down. If I go up, it's gonna be this one, and this one I'm gonna go up. I'm just gonna go crazy right here. All right. So of course we are doing this with automation, but nothing stops you from doing this uh, with LFO. So let's say, I'm gonna bring this active, you know, I'm gonna uh, activate the LFO. And then this one, we are just gonna go up and down on the pitch. And maybe this one, I'm gonna activate it. This one is gonna go and do a little bit of detuning just to get the, you know, a little bit of movement between notes. Again, nothing stops you from doing some exploration right here. That sounds a little bit better. All right. So this is another way you can use it, just, you know, with automation or, you know, with LFOs, just to get, you know, a new sound. Another way of using this, and I'm gonna toggle this off, and I'm gonna show you, already show you uh, kind of something I did, because if not, it's just gonna take us five minutes to set it up. And I believe at this point, you already know, uh, you know, what an instrument layer is. If not, I already released a video of what an instrument layer is. Check it out. So on this one, what I did, uh, this is a multi-sample of the Model D, you know, uh, the Bringer synthesizer Model D. So I just multi-sampled everything and kind of a created uh, an instrument layer and trying to replicate with all the macros, the, you know, the main controls you get on the panel. 
So the trick right here is that each oscillator uh, is a is a, of course a sampler. You get the saw, and you can you know. Let me just show you. And I'm showing you this, uh, you know, because it's relevant, not because I'm just kind of a selling. Uh, you, you can get you can get this on Patreon, but you know, uh, you get all the different saws, and you can maybe select a square, you know, whatever I multi sampled. Now the the thing is that with the um, with the Model D, you get a knob which is the range, right? So I I, I needed to replicate this uh, with something. So what did I use? The no the no transpose. So on each sampler, I'm going to note right here, and notice that I'm starting from one point. I'm starting low, right here, minus three octaves, and this is being this is actually mapped to each oscillator range. So let me just go right here and just play something. I'm gonna go and do some play. This is the sound of one oscillator. All right. Let me just maybe go down on the resonance and the cutoff. So if I go and change the range, this is just going to change the range. Again, I'm just trying to replicate this behavior you get with the Model D or with the Mog. They're not the same, but... And by doing this, I'm just, you know, kind of uh, doing the macro with the no transpose on every single oscillator. So yeah, you can use it like that. Use an instrument layer where you have different, uh, different instruments, maybe, not just samplers. And you just didn't change the octaves with the macro. Why not? And just play around. All right. So hopefully you learned something. It was very simple, but hopefully you learned something today. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. And remember to check Patreon just to keep the channel alive. All right. So see you on the next one.